In this video, I'm going to show you guys a few lines that builds off one of my previous videos on the major triad pairs within diminished. Um, we're going to do it in the same key of G minor as that last video. If you haven't seen that last video, you can check it out above. Um, but I'm going to show you a few lines that I've been working on in my practice routine that I thought you guys might dig. All right, let's, let's get into it. So in the last one, just to recap real quick, we were playing over G minor and the two triads I'm talking about, it's D major and then also an A flat major triad. And so a couple cool ways we can use these um, beyond just staying in position is actually moving through the positions, right? And so if we look here, we have an A flat triad and I'm doing just for picking purposes if you're a guitarist, down, down, up, so A flat, A flat, C, E flat. And then we kind of shift our hand in and then we have a D triad, D F sharp, A, A flat again, D triad, and then A flat. So we have these. And now using that in that kind of diagonal way, we can come up with some cool stuff. So um, the first one I wanna look at is just going through these in groups of four. So A flat C, E flat C, and then to the next one, D. And you could resolve either down to B flat to me, it sounds like it wants to resolve to D. So you have this. And notice on that um, A flat, I shift up quickly. So I'm pivoting off my thumb and it's both first finger. And that resolves it. So kind of a cool line. All right, that's the first one. Um, what we can do if we add, instead of adding a fourth note that's within the triad, we can do a chromatic approach into that first note of the triad. So what I mean by that is we have G, A flat, C, E flat. I think of it as a chromatic approach, not like I'm using the major seven, and I get this kind of effect. And it's also an upbeat, so it starts on upbeat. One, two, three, four. You can either go back to C. I like going to C sharp to do the chromatic approach again. So and then chromatic into that D again. So there's a couple ways you could do it. You could either start on the downbeat. Anticipating. All right, so that's line on number two. And then the third one, we can go in the reverse direction. So chromatic approach and descending. So going from higher up. So instead of going, uh, we go. So starting on E to E flat, and then B flat to A. And then we continue again, E to E flat. For me, I like doing that as like a slide. It sounds like it's like a falling kind of motion. So, and then ending on that G. All right, so you have, just to recap real quick, we have these three, so. And then going descending. All right, hope you guys get something out of that. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.